Hey guys, back with a quick little tour overview of this 1994 Mercury Sable. Now, I drove all the way out to this dealership, not too far, but um, it's a different Ford dealership and there's not too many cars unlocked, so I have to get what I can. Um, as you can see, this one does have 15 inch alloy wheels on these off brand tires. This one does have a nice pinstripe, I guess. Coming to the rear, here's the Sable. Um, I guess this was a Taurus, the Taurus's sister. Um, they were really good selling cars back in the day. Um, up until the mid 2000s, they just slowly slowed down. But um, this was a very good selling car back then. So um, I mean, I can see why, because what they had to offer back then was kind of, I guess, I don't know. This is just different, and I guess this is what people liked, I guess. But um, anyways, this one was probably traded in for a Fiesta or something cheap. Anyways, here's your Sable over here. This is your typical beige grandma color over here. Coming out the interior, you have a power driver seat at least, and then here's your trunk pop, and then your gas cap undone, and then your seating material is pretty high quality cloth. Step on into this one. It's not dirty, that's why I'm doing this tour. Over here, closing the door. Up here, it is all soft touch. Down here, it is a very nice padded cloth over here, so pretty nice. Free soft touch over here, and then here's your speaker down here, and then Power locks, power windows, power meters up here, and then, you know, just typical car for the day. Um, parking lights, driving lights, rear defrost right here. Up to the dash is all soft touch. Um, over here you have a tachometer, so I've never seen that in a car like this. They, don't, they didn't have that, I thought it was just that, but um, this one has 98,000 miles on it. Um, unfortunately, the outside is kind of bad, but this motor will outlast this body for sure. Anyways, pretty tasteful gauges. Of course, it's automatic with your column shift up here. Here's your volume for your radio, so that's that's different. Um, your seek and then your memory. So yeah, I never saw, I never noticed that before, but I've never really been in one of these. So steering wheel, um, universal wheel, um, Ford's used too. Climb control, single zone. Over here, it is all soft touch as well. Um, pretty nice. Um, airbag that was a thing back in the 90s for passengers. Down here, you have a damped well, not not damped, but it falls down. So there you go. Here's your typical Ford radio for the day um this is a really um just kind of a time capsule because my grand grandpa with the free star right now he had a 98 Windstar. um I remember using this radio when I was little and it just brings back you know just little memories and just cool little things like that it's just cool to see stuff like this so here's your coin holder right here cup holders um yeah they're they're cup holders um so I guess but the interior of this car is almost mint but um the exterior begs to differ, but um, there's your little aftermarket holders right there. Armrest right here for this is a six seater car. Headliner is pretty plush, really high quality. Over here, pull down, I guess, and then there you go. And then it was um done by Varsity for its whole life. So, yeah, this car's been taken care of mechanically. So, we'll pop the hood. It is freezing outside, guys. So, um, please excuse the shaky video. Pop the trunk down here. And the trunk does pop open, so that's nice. It still does that, but as you can see, the rust. Coming back here, the front seat was up a little bit more than I would like, but um, the room isn't the best back here, but it is what it is. Ashtray, because it's a 90s car. Was never smoked in. Materials do all carry through to the rear. And over here, this one does have an armrest, if I can get it out. There you go, it looks like it's never been out before, but there you go. Dual mat pockets, interior. So, I mean, Meh, I wouldn't want one now, but 20 years ago I would have. Trunk. Gooseneck hinges. Typical 90s trunk, I guess. It's dirty, um, yeah. This is kind of a hick town. It's people like carry their barn shit in their car. This probably is the Vulcan motor. That was a struggle, but there you go. Three liter V6, probably 145 horsepower. There you go. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.